Hello. Well, it's time to look at the website. I'm doing my blog for today, which I forgot to do on Thursday. And I thought, well, the quickest thing I can do is actually look at the blogs on the website because we've got 55 of them there at the moment. So let's have a quick look. This is the home page. It's encaustichouse.com is the website. We're on the home page, and here you can see that basically Wemka uh, and I are running this website and we do online courses in English, in Dutch, and in Swedish now. And then the products that we use, there are videos about that, and you can always have a look at the whole page of those by clicking on that link there. But what I want to look at today are the blogs. So let's have a look here. Click on the blogs in the top menu, and you'll find yourself straight away on a page with 10 blogs on it. Now there are 10 blogs on every page except for the last page of them. Hot Plate Play, Courses in Swedish, Bigger Story, Fantasy Figures in Triad Colours, Happy Easter Eggs, well that seems to have passed away now, Figure It Out, Ugliest Painting Part 2, Quick Fix in Wax. And at the bottom here you'll see all the other pages that you can go on to. So let's go back to the top and have a quick look inside this cycle of life that Wemke did last week. Looks like trees and indeed it is trees. So often a blog will contain a bit of writing and then an inspirational video of some sort. So let's have a quick look at that. The video's on YouTube. You can see all of the videos if you click on the links. A bit of music and here we are. We've got the process going on and you can click through the videos so you can skip along if you want to see a bit more quickly. We can just pause it there. Often there's more inspiration, different examples. So these are some of the painted trees that Wemke did last week. And she did a Facebook Live about this as well. But more on that in another blog. So if we go back to the blogs, we've looked at this one. Let's look at another type. This is the one that I did the week before. Why paint with wax? And basically it was a series of five paintings I did. And those paintings are shown here and discussed. It's not necessarily about seeing how it's done, sometimes it's just about discussing the painting. So I looked at these paintings that I'd done and questioned. And so sometimes you can get quite useful information. Um, so the emotional impact of the art, that's important. Skills of workmanship and so on. So that blog was uh, more of a discussion um, about examples. Hot plate play. Well we've already seen that we can have videos and so in this hot plate play there were two videos. One about the actual work and one about the product. So if I click on that same thing it's on YouTube. You can click through it, you can make it bigger if you want. Some music and a nice play that Wemke did using the hot plate. Below, if you look at the um, product video, you can learn about the hot plate. And this is the encaustic heart product video. Handle away. So Put the, the iron down, down on that protective paper. <laughs> tuck in the cable and slide it right the way forward, as far as it can go. The iron just slides in there, and this just shows. The hot plate surface does need to be clean for the tape fine lines. How and using the works. brush, you can heat up. So let's stop that. Below, you'll often find related posts. So you can see other things straight from here, or you can go back to the blog's main page and carry on from where you were. Let's have a look at one more basic course now in Swedish. Well, Eva, sitting here, has translated this course into Swedish. So now you can look at all of the, of the um, basic course and learn all of the basic course in Swedish. She gives a nice introduction and then if you actually click on the course, you can go into it, and there it is. It's all in Swedish, and there's Eva ready to get going. Hej och välkommen till en kaustik house och den här utbildningen som heter. So, what I'm saying really is that in the blogs, there's a huge amount of free information. Some of it very useful, very helpful. Remember at the bottom there are six pages, so if we click here, page number four, blue snow candles, colours are changing, improving landscapes is ready, 
quick look inside, the Creo Do, a Scriber's Web, all sorts of things to inspire you. And I hope that this little blog introduction has inspired you. I'm going to say goodbye now. Thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoy your encaustic art. Bye-bye.